looking. I love it. We got a little swoopy, swoopy swoop happening here. <laughs> Our hairdresser suggested we come to a restaurant near here to try this famous rice dish that's really popular in Taiwan. Looks like we've headed to a more local area, but I'm loving it. It's gonna be some good food. The hairdresser suggested we try a dish called lu zhou fan, which translates to braised pork on rice. It is a very popular everyday dish among the locals in Taiwan. Wang's Broth is a Michelin Guide Bib Gourmet recommended restaurant serving up delicious lu zhou fan. We were also told to try their braised duck egg and fried tofu on the side. The exact locations mentioned in this video will be in the description section down below. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there! Next up, we took the very efficient and clean Taiwan Public Transport to the Taipei 101 Financial Center and Shopping Mall. Going there! A lot more modern over here. A lot more high rises. Example, example. <laughs> In front of us is the Taipei 101. What is going on here? Taipei 101 is the tallest building in Taiwan. It was the tallest building in the world back in 2003-2004. It is now the 10th tallest in the world, still in the top 10. Maybe we come back another day. Not gonna go up today because the visibility is currently 0 to 30%. So there's kind of no point in purchasing tickets and going up. But this mall is beautiful, guys. I'm gonna walk around. There is a gorgeous luxury shopping mall and a massive food court containing one of the most famous Xiaolongbao restaurant chains in Asia, Ding Tai Fung. The Hong Kong location has received many awards, including a Michelin star. I really wanted to try this restaurant chain, so we joined the queue at the Taipei 101 location. There is always a massive lineup. We went early to pick up a number and then walked around the mall for about two hours before getting our table. We ordered the coveted Xiaolongbao. We got two of the truffle and pork Xiaolongbao and 10 of the classic pork shalombaos. So they did one portion soy sauce and three portions. In addition, we ordered the spicy shrimp and pork wontons, braised beef noodle, and the hot and sour soup. After a whole day of walking around, we decided to metro back to our hotel and relax for the evening. Hello friends, so we were gonna go golf today, this morning, but then it started pouring rain. We got to the golf course and the bunkers had just puddles of water inside, so we've decided to push back the golf round and instead we're gonna stay in Taipei and get some food, so let's go! Taiwan has a lot of Japanese food and Japanese influence as it was under Japanese rule for 50 years from 1895 to 1945. I'm pretty sure this restaurant is a chain, but the ramen and fried chicken were really delicious. Got bubble tea! We were just discussing, because there's bubble tea literally every second shop here, and we were thinking, what do we have this many of in Toronto? First thing that came to mind was Tim Hortons, and the second thing was plant stores. For dinner, we joined the queue for the God Guo Hot Pot Restaurant. Ximen is a walking area with lots of shops and street vendors, including this very popular street food, sausage inside a sausage. You heard that right. I was naturally intrigued. <laughs> okay, but in all honesty, you really should try these sausages. The outer sausage is a sticky rice sausage and the inside is a Taiwanese pork sausage. There are quite a few options for toppings, including non-spicy options. So we'll twist the bottom and then it comes out. Sausage, sausage. I need to twist a little bit. I see. This is like a rice sausage. 
you've heard of hot dogs and now you've heard of sausage inside of another sausage. <laughs> I was spicier than expected. Since we still had some time to kill before our table was ready at the restaurant, we explored the nearby pop-up market. There are so many little shops with arts and crafts, plants, jewelry, gifts, etc. Alright, let's head back to the hot pot restaurant. At God Gua, the buffet area is all you can eat. You just have to pay for a hot pot base and your choice of proteins. We went with a set menu including seafood and meats. You can customize the menus and there are other items to order separately. Good morning again from Taiwan. Yesterday we played Miramar Golf and Country Club. It was a beautiful golf course. However, currently is not the best time to come for course conditions. So we asked the caddy yesterday and the best time to come is actually after May through summer until the end of September, October-ish. Summer is really hot here, but the grass conditions are the best when the weather is hotter here. So winter, no go. And even right now in April, the course conditions are not the greatest on a lot of the courses. Again, at Miramar, they were pretty good, but still not prime condition. So instead of golf today, we are going to explore more of Taiwan, eat more delicious food, and I really want to go to the National Museum because there's a lot of historical artifacts there brought over from mainland China and also just a lot of historical artifacts to see regarding Taiwan. They're a little juicy. I had a little bit of support. Oh, they're so cute. They're so small. Watch out. There's a car coming. Ah. There's some juice in them, so be careful. So hot. This is really good. This one's mostly pork. My noodle ball. Egg rice. Extra egg. Like, very yummy. It has started raining again. We're currently in the laundry room, lol. But another day, another boba. After our laundry's done, we are going to head to the National Palace Museum. It's going to be super exciting. It is a little bit out of the city or out of where we are staying in the city. So we're going to drive over there and then probably hit up the night market. So far though, favorite bubble tea place is still the first one that we got. We're almost there. We'll have to find the parking lot that is separate from the Palace Museum main entrance. If you are going to drive in Taiwan, I would be kind of careful because Google Maps can be a little bit confusing here. If it says turn right, it might just mean take the right lane and not actually turn right. You might still be going straight. So that was a little bit confusing because sometimes at an intersection, they'll have like four different lanes that go four different places. We know we're nearby when all around. are here there's the palace we're gonna head in now just parked parking is 50 taiwan dollars for the whole day 50 that's like two dollars or something canadian dollars meanwhile we're paying like 20 for an hour in toronto or something insane anyways let's head over to the palace Let's go check out the national palace museum one of the most visited locations in taiwan Aside from the grand facade, this museum contains hundreds of thousands of artifacts and artworks from mainland China. Despite all the global conflict, this National Palace Museum has been and will continue to be a sanctuary for culture and history. So grand! Things so pretty and open and clean. Damn, oh there's Chinese writing on the glass too. 
The adult ticket price is 350 new Taiwan dollars, which is about 11 to 12 US dollars. The exhibits inside are divided into rooms on multiple floors. An artwork. Now hit the like button, everyone. She's lint rolling the carpet. <laughs> For my non-Asian viewers, just fun fact, if you're coming to the museum or any Chinese museum and you see scripts from back in time, always start on the right side. They read vertically and then right to left. So the description will oftentimes be on the right side and then you'll start, that's the beginning of the writing, and then vertically in columns down to the left. And that's going to be the end where they sign their name and stamp. Welcome to Shilin Market! In the same area as the National Palace Museum is the Shilin Night Market. We're here a little early, they're still setting up. There is an indoor section with some amusement park type games, as well as an outdoor walking street full of delicious street food and lots of claw machines. There are a few street foods we must try, so let's get started. Spicy cold noodles on the way. There's a massive lineup outside and the market just opened. This is one of the must try spots. First up, spicy cold noodles. These noodles have a sour and spicy sauce topped with ham and cucumber slices. It's quite spicy, but really good. Highly recommend. Next stop. As we waited for some more vendors to open up, we came across this really adorable stationery store. What can I say, I'm a sucker for these cute decor shops in Asia. Next up, fried chicken, a universally delicious way to eat chicken. There are multiple fried chicken vendors. This one was featured in a Mark Weens video, so we just had to try it. Thanks Mark Weens for the recommendation. This chicken's the size of my face. Let's try it. I got the spicy version. They have non-spicy. Focus. So that it has that red pepper on it. Nice and juicy. Meat's still really soft. That's actually quite good. It's like a little sweet, other than the pepper they put on. What are our thoughts? After a couple bites, this tastes like there's like pork broth or something, or beef broth in the fryer. It gives me, it gives me the beef noodle broth taste. I don't know what the ingredients are, but I'm just, I'm just trying to describe why this fried chicken tastes different. Next up, a Taiwanese street food staple, the pepper pork buns. They are basically fried pork boughs, except the pork is heavily seasoned with black pepper. We have copped the must-try pepper cake, pepper bun with pork. Very yummy. Mm. Nice and crisp. Sesame bun, a little bit burnt. 
chase it down with some watermelon juice. Also, there are so many of these claw machines and arcade games here. And then they also have the games you see at theme parks, the tossing rings and all of that stuff. It's all here. You can win really cute little plushies. I lied. After two bites, there are chives in here. And last but not least, fried milk. Yummy fried milk! Mm. Really soft. Very like light layer of crisp. And then it's kind of like a cream inside. Like a milk cream. <laughs> That's a wrap on the night market. We pretty much got all the food that we wanted to eat. This is also a wrap on this video. We visited lots of food places, lots of tourist places. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of travel and golf vlogs coming at you. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if you have been to Taiwan. What was your favorite food here? What's something you recommend everyone try on their next trip here? And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!